Well, I didn't know what it was about and I didn't really know kind of what happened in Barrettstown. I spoke to my friend about it and she was always going on about how great it was and how, like, how much fun it was. But I kind of, I was a bit sceptical and sort of saying, oh yeah, well, I don't know if it'd be my thing. The night before I came down, I was kind of saying, oh, I'm not sure if I really want to go. But then when I got down, it was like unbelievable, like totally changed my opinions of it. It was so much fun. And I just felt so comfortable here. The first time I heard about Barrettstown was probably the second time I think I got sick and I, I always kind of saw, you know, posters around the hospital or whatever. I never really knew what it was about though and it wasn't until a nurse in the hospital, you know, said, you know, you should go, I think you'd love it, it'd be great. And at the time I was like, oh, you know, this is a bit scary, like going on my own to, to a camp with, you know, loads of different people. and. It's always a daunting thing, you know, when you're when you're that young. We decided then, mum and dad, like maybe it would be better if you went like with us. We went as a family, so we went as a family. It was probably the best, best decision ever that I could have. I got the opportunity to bring my family because it's. I'm so happy that they got to experience it, and you know, and to see how amazing it is, and it it was a nice, you know, uh, slow kind of to ease me into it, you know, and I was, I was uh, a lot less um, scared about going and everything. When I first came to Barcelona, it was just full of teenagers, you know, 120 teenagers from all across Europe, Spain, England, Italy, Portugal. It was great, yeah, everyone just laughing, joking, doing some activities, you know, canoeing, jumping off ropes, everything, just having the absolute best time of your life. I think my favourite activity would be high ropes. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah. Um, just like the thrill of getting up on top, like it's the adrenaline. Like you know, you're so scared, you don't think you can do it, but then you you just get to the top. The zip lining, just yeah. jumping mm -hmm. off. Like when you stand, when you stand on the um, it's like a big like tree thing, but it's got like little. Pegs. pegs for like hands and feet and you just climb up the thing and then you, you're standing on like like this wooden thing and it's shaking it's like it it doesn't stop shaking and you're so scared and then like you know you're strapped into the big line and then just jumping off because looking yeah. down it's like everyone's like this small and then you just jump off and you're like screaming at the top of your lungs it's brilliant oh well, I was really nervous about the high ropes at first because uh, of my leg and because of I never really hadn't done anything like that since since being sick. And I was kind of I really wanted to do them, but I was quite like iffy and sort of saying, oh, like am I able to? So I went down and I kind of I was kind of sort of looking at other people doing it, kind of thinking, oh maybe maybe not. But I did them. I kind of cheated a bit at some of them, but I managed to get up at the top of them. It was amazing. It was because I didn't think I'd be able to. I'd never, like, I'd, I'd never been afraid of heights, but I kind of, when I thought about it, I was like, oh, maybe I don't like heights too much. But um, yeah, it was really, it was an amazing feeling. It gave me a lot of confidence and sort of, like, felt really good about it. Teenage, like, the best thing about coming here is like, get away from your parents. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's just worth it so much. It's just, it's fantastic. Or <laughs> if right, someone. Uh, told me that Barrett's saying uh, wasn't cool, like how wrong would they be? It's, it's, yeah, it's just amazing. It's the coolest place possibly in the world. To, to teenagers thinking about coming to Barrett's Town, I'd say um, to just kind of let go and sort of say, like, I can just go down here and enjoy myself because you really, like, once you get down, it's just, it's, 
totally kind of you just feel so comfortable and so kind of at home and you kind of feel like kind of you can do anything and just let go and have fun and it's kind of like sort of being a child again and kind of going crazy with your friends and, and you make lots of friends you make really really good friends which is one of the best things about it. I could tell anyone today I'd say jump at the opportunity only people who have had serious illnesses can can have this opportunity and like how if only people knew like if people knew who hadn't had cancer how jealous they would be it's almost a horrible thing to say but it is like why not if you you've had this illness why not take this opportunity and and like experience this place because it is it's just amazing and like i think you need to jump at life's you know um opportunities and this is one of them this is an amazing one that you'll, you'll never forget and um has definitely will stay with you forever so like it's i think it's better for teenagers than our children because it's easier to keep in contact after and you just have more things to talk about you know virus town has changed my life because it's well, it's given me my two best friends um, and they've really changed my life and um, I, wouldn't, like, I wouldn't change them for anything. So that's a big part of it. And it's just made me be a lot more confident and a lot like, confident in myself and have a lot more self-belief and kind of allow myself to be myself, be like kind of who I am and not try and kind of pretend that I'm someone else and just have fun and like let go. When my mother first told me that we were coming to Barstown for that weekend on the Friday, I was just like, here, I have a whole weekend to do stuff here. Why, why are you not let me do it? You know, and she's like, no, come on. We said we said we'd go down. So uh, we went down. And even though I was like anxious, I was kind of anxious, like whether I did or didn't want to go. Uh, as soon as I got there, I started having a great time. And then once I actually came home, I didn't care about what I missed. And I couldn't wait to go back to Barstown. It was just such a great time, you know. And if anyone was kind of indecisive about coming, I'd say jump on the boat, get there straight away. Because as soon as you get here, you never want to leave. Well, at the moment, I'm, uh, I'm going to my second year of college as an engineer in DIT, and uh, definitely the future will hold uh, a return to Barstown for me. Hoping to volunteer next year and then maybe come back working here for a year or a summer sometime. You know, definitely feel like I should uh, give back to the place that helped me grow so much as a person and have such a great time and just enjoy myself with lads and girls my own age, you know, great times. The confidence that Barstown gives you is just absolutely great. The laughs you have here are just second to none. After coming back from Barton, I definitely think I'm a much more confident person. The, like when you're sick, you kind of lose confidence in yourself. But when you come back here, you just feel like you, your normal self, I guess. Um, yeah, no, when you're sick, it kind of, it kind of knocks you down. You don't feel good about yourself. You, you lose all your confidence. But come back, you just feel like a totally new person, I guess. And yeah, you, you learn things about yourself and you know that you can do whatever you set your mind to, you know, just because you're sick, you, it doesn't mean you can't ride a horse or like do high ropes or something like that, you know, you are just like everyone else, like whether you're sick or not, you know, so it's pretty good. Yeah, great. Yeah, Baritan has definitely had a great impact on my life and it has changed my life. I mean, I feel myself, I'm more of a confident person in myself and I, I don't like Oh, it's hard to explain what Baristan does. It's actually, you can't put it into words, what it does for you. But it's just so extraordinary. When you, like when I try and explain to my friends, you know, what it is, they, it's, you just need to come and experience it for yourself because it is, it's, you can't, you can't explain it or you can't tell people what you feel or how it changes you because it is, it's just so special. And yeah, and uh, yes, it has it has definitely altered my life as well. Is because like if I hadn't came to Barstown, I wouldn't have met like these amazing friends and and like uh, that I've stayed in contact now and have become best friends. I mean, like uh, I wouldn't imagine my life without them. And and for that, I I never regret having cancer. Oh, I didn't do all, definitely. It's the best time you live. Yeah. The best thing about like is, is the friendships you make. Such good friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm.